Hey to whoever's watching this and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. Today I'm going to be doing another reaction to Madison Beer's EP, I think it is. I thought it was an album and then I realized that it was seven songs and I was just informed the other day that it was an EP actually. Which is weird because the EPs that like I'm used to only come out with like three or four songs. So that's different. But yeah, I really like Madison Beer. All of her songs I've listened to up until this point and I figured if I liked her and wanted to listen to it then why not make a video out of it. So before I start my reaction video if you're not already please subscribe down below and click that little notification bell if you want to be notified every time that I upload a video. Also give this video a like and comment what your favorite Madison Beer song is from this album, sorry EP, or just your favorite song by her overall because I want to know. But yeah so, like I said, the EP is called As She Pleases, and it has seven tracks. The first one's Dead, which I've heard before. It came out a while ago. Fools, Heartless, Tyler Durden, Home With You, Teenager In Love, and Say It To My Face. And I've also heard Say It To My Face. So, basically, this album is five new tracks from me, but I'll play them all. So, yeah, let's start out with Dead. You could be here, but you so like I said, Dead came out a while ago, I think it was her first single, and I read that it got like 17 million views on YouTube and 44 million Spotify plays. So obviously this was a good single choice for somebody who's not as huge as an artist as some people. But when this came out, I really did like it. Um, I think it came out in May of 2017. Don't quote me. Let me see. Yeah, May 19th because I remember I was at the Poconos when it came out. So yeah, I really like it. And this is also like... I feel like kind of around the same time that that audio clip leaked of Madison Beer and Jack Jelinski fighting. You're a slut. You're a slut. You're a little slut. After they broke up or whatever. So I kind of thought this song was about that. And maybe it's not. Who knows? But I just related it to that. But yeah, I thought the music video was cool. I thought the music video was cool too. I think it was on like black and white and I feel like she just has such a like good voice like this This song showcases her voice a lot, which I really like. Okay, so track number two is called fools So we will listen to that one I don't know why, but initially when I'm like listening to this, I feel like it kind of reminds me of like early 2000s music for some reason. And the song reminds me of another song that's like in a movie or like feels like it could be like different words with the same beat that are playing like on a beach or something. I don't really know why I think that it's just something that comes to mind, but I really like the chorus and how she's saying fools. And I like when she goes up in her vocal range and then comes back down, like, I just think it brings a lot to the chorus. This, I think, is gonna be one of my favorite songs. I mean, it's my favorite so far, only because I already know Dead. But, yeah, this was a good song to, like, start out the EP, I think. And the next one is called Heartless. Too 
right before she said one, two, three, four, five, there was like she said something, and then in the background, it like did like a muted, like almost unrecognizable, like lower deep voice. I love when songs do that. I might have said that in my Chris Brown review, but yeah, I just think it adds such a cool effect to songs. <laughs> For some reason, I really like this chorus, like, I like the vibe it was having, it kind of seems like a darker vibe than she usually goes for, just my opinion, but it also kind of reminded me of an Ariana Grande sound, not any song in particular, but like, just the way it sounds, I don't know, it, if that reminds you guys of that too, let me know, but yeah, I'm really liking this song so far. <laughs> Okay, so basically, I'm picking up the meaning of, like, she's with the dude, she's done this so many times before, and she's probably still gonna do it, but she's warning herself, like, the next time you do this, you should probably leave your heart out of it, because every time you do, you wind up getting hurt, either because the guy doesn't care, or he's not feeling the same type of way that you are. I think she's talking about how she can't resist it, so yeah, the next time she's probably leave her heart out of it to save herself the hurt and the trouble. Also, side note, I honestly think this could be a cool song for like a Fifty Shades movie. I don't know why. I think it's just like the darker vibe and like the chorus. It definitely seems like a Red Room scene song or like one that would lead up to the Red Room scene. But yeah, I really like this song too. I hope the rest of the album is like this too. The next song is called Tyler Durden. I think my friend told me that Brad Pitt played him Tyler Durden in some movie or something. So maybe that's what she's referring to. It's probably what she's referring to. Okay, so she's saying like, okay, that's already half the song I just looked down and saw. But the reason her relationships never work out is because she's in love and fantasizing about one that's never going to happen because the guy that she's fantasizing about having a relationship with isn't real. Made up character. So <coughs> yeah, I could see like where she would be coming from. Yeah, so this is definitely a slower song. Uh, I like it, but I don't think that I like it as much as I like Fools and Heartless. Only because those are more my type of, like, music that I would listen to all the time. Not that I wouldn't listen to this on occasion, but yeah, I think this is definitely out of my favorites. But it still is a good, like, EP cut. I was about to say album cut, but it's not an album, so. Alright, the next track is called Home With You. And my friends told me this was good, so hopefully it is. My thing up. Alright, already I know that I'm gonna listen to this all the time. It just has like the perfect like flow to it and like I really like the beat so if I like the flow and the beat of a song it's obviously gonna be one of my favorites. Yeah, this is definitely up there with Fools and Heartless. Um, Basically she's saying like she can go out and not have to go home with somebody even though he's gonna buy her a drink or compliment her or something. She's saying like I, that's cool but I still don't have to go home with you. Like you can do or say whatever you want but still not happening which honestly I think can fit in with today's 
society and all the stuff that's going on in Hollywood, which is probably why she included this, I'm assuming, because there's probably a bunch of other songs that she recorded for this, but yeah, it's kind of a bop, so I think I'm definitely gonna listen to this a lot. Okay, the next song is called Teenager in Love, which is kind of ironic because <coughs> isn't she only 18? Or maybe it's about her being 18, I don't know. Alright, that was like the first 12 seconds of the song, and I already think it sounds exactly like Ariana Grande, Circa, Yours Truly, Era, Honeymoon Avenue type thing. Avenue. Maybe that's just the beginning where it's like muted, I don't know, it sounds like jukeboxy almost. I don't know if that's a thing or if anybody even knows what I'm talking about, but yeah, that definitely, definitely sounds like Ariana Grande. I even said that Heartless sounded like Ariana too, so maybe this song will take a different turn. I don't know. Let's listen to the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> even like the B and like the little ooze in the background, like it sounds exactly like her. I can't get it out of my head that it sounds like an Ariana Grande song. Honestly, 100%, if this was a leftover Ariana Grande track, or I don't even know if Madison Beer writes her own music, but if this is a leftover Ariana Grande song or like a leftover Yours Truly song, I would not in the least bit be surprised because it sounds exactly like that, which kind of makes me not like it as much because I kind of like new Ariana Grande better than yours truly Ariana Grande, but that's just me. But the last song is Say It To My Face and I know that one, but I'll play a little bit of it. Yeah, this was one of my, I wouldn't say like one of my favorite songs, like I don't listen to it all the freaking time, but I definitely listen to it a lot. I like it more than Dead, and I especially like the last chorus where she's like going ham, like raspy, like screaming her heart out in the chorus. Like I'll play a little bit of that part that I really like. Yeah, I really like that part. So yeah, the reaction, I'm sorry, is really short, but it's over. It was only seven tracks. I knew two of them, so it was basically only five new ones for me. I would definitely 100% say that my top three are Home With You, Fools, and Heartless. I loved all three of those. I loved everything about them. I think her voice is so soft and elegant and heartless, and she goes ham in... Home with you. And like I said, I really like her high notes and fools. Yeah, I didn't really think she sounded like Ariana Grande in all of them. And I didn't even before this album, EP. But yeah, I don't know why I did now. Just reminds me of that. But yeah, definitely Fools Heartless and Home With You. I will be listening to all the time. And if you guys had a top three or if you had just a favorite song, please let me know down below. I'll chat with you. But yeah, and if you want me to do any other reactions by her or by anybody else that came out with music recently, also let me know because I'll be happy to do that. And yeah, overall, I really like this album. I would probably say like five out of seven tracks I really like, including Dead and Say It To My Face. So I would probably give it like a seven or eight out of 10 overall. But yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for listening with me. And don't forget to subscribe down below, click the notification bell, like this video, comment your favorite song, tell your friends, do whatever you want. But thanks, I appreciate you watching and I will see you guys in my next reaction or my next video.